Eastern Ukraine has sustained another day of heavy shelling. At least five people were killed in an army assault on a suburb of Donetsk, while in the city itself, residents are under constant fear of artillery fire. <laughs> And this video of a powerful blast was recorded on Tuesday near Donetsk. It's now been confirmed that the explosion was caused by a shell hitting an aluminium factory. It's the largest plant of its kind in Ukraine and contributes hugely to the regional budget. Polizia is in Donetsk and she tells us the city is also on the verge of a humanitarian collapse. Donetsk used to be a bustling city of a million people. But that's changed since government troops launched their offensive just under a month ago. Shops have long since closed up and most of the streets are empty. Tens of thousands of people have fled. Those who haven't are doing so now and fast. Donetsk is quickly becoming a city without water, electricity, jobs and people. Since Sunday, water pipes have run dry. Queues like this are becoming commonplace as city authorities do what they can to bring in supplies. You can't go to the toilet, you have nothing to drink, so at least I will have water for the toilet. All the reasonable people are afraid. Every day we expect the worst. I was born here. I was raised here, on these streets. Why should I leave the city just because someone decided to bomb it? Paulina Krasnoperova feels the same. The 81-year-old pensioner has nowhere else to go, and so she's filling up every pot and bucket she owns with water. Like others who've chosen to remain in the city, she's digging in for the long haul. There's been no water for three or four days. I bought two buckets of water that you can use for drinking, but I can't use it for showering. Paulina refuses to leave her house. She was born here in Donetsk and says the memories she has of a long life within these walls are too valuable to abandon, whatever the price. Paulus Lea RT, Donetsk. Eastern Ukraine.